Hey, it's Dr. Brett here. I am gonna give you guys a quick tip here on how to control your tinnitus. Uh, I myself have dealt with tinnitus over the last, uh, really probably six months. I've had some mild episodes earlier on over the last probably 10 years due to noise exposure. I had some acute noise exposure, uh, again, about six months ago, five to six months ago. Uh, and I really started to kind of search for something to find some relief because there was points where it was just absolutely miserable. It affected me at home, it affected me at work, it affected me at night and, and across the board. Uh, <clears throat> so I really started looking for what are some ways, because again, there's not a cure for it. Um, what are some ways that actually takes the edge off of it, makes it more manageable, that helps bring that emotion down with it and that fear and that anxiety that goes along with it um, and the frustration you get from it down to a, a more manageable level where now all of a sudden it starts to bring the tinnitus down with it as well too. So <clears throat> a little trick I learned I kind of saw it in a random way through watching something else um, and then kind of tweaked it a little bit. Uh, it's helped me a ton. Like when mine gets bad, uh, I really kind of go towards this as a way to kind of, again, stop it. There's times if I'm in a quiet setting and it's going on and I do this, I will literally not even hear my, my tenderness for a period of time on there. So um, it kind of helps reset the, the perception of the noise in your brain on there. So real simple, I just take literally the palms of my hands and kind of in the, the, the divot of your palm here, I put it over my ears right through here and I kind of angle my fingers back on my head through here. And all I'm gonna do literally is cover my ear, seal it up, like airtight seal it up, press, and then I just take my fingers and tap. And that tap, that repetition that's on there, it sounds loud when it's in there, but what it does, it actually stimulates the auditory center of your brain, which helps to, again, kind of desensitize. It helps reset the, the sensation that it gets of the hearing, um, whether it's per actual hearing or just perceived hearing um, at, the, at the brain level. So I do it again when it gets bad. I'll do it sometimes if I'm in a quiet setting and I'm, it's more noticeable. Uh, it just helps bring it down. It relaxes me a little bit and it brings the whole tenderness thing more to a minimum at that point in time. So that's a simple tip. Uh, you can do it multiple times in a row. You can do it when you need it. There's some times, like for example, the last probably three weeks, I couldn't tell you the last time I did it on there. Um, but again, it's a tool I have in my toolbox now that when that thing, that tentative starts to flare up, it's a way for me to help shut it back down and get back in control of it versus the tentative being in control of me and my emotions on there. So give it a try. It'll help you out. I guarantee you that.